Hello and welcome to the September 2022 Sky Report. I'm Patrick So. There are two planets visible in the night sky this month, Saturn and Jupiter. On the 7th, the waxen gibbous moon is located about 6 degrees below Saturn. Then on the 10th, the full moon is 6 degrees west of the bright planet Jupiter. Both planets are well placed for observation. The rings of Saturn and the cloud bands of Jupiter are visible easily through small telescopes. These images were taken by amateur astronomers with 12-inch telescopes. The images are enhanced to show intricate details in Saturn's rings and its cloud bands. Jupiter's great red spot, an anticyclone that's about the size of the Earth, is clearly visible in Jupiter's southern region. Meanwhile, NASA's Juno spacecraft, in a 43-day polar orbit around Jupiter, continues to send spectacular images of the planet's cloud features. Juno made its 44th close approach around the planet last month. The spacecraft offers views of Jupiter from a vantage point different from Earth. This image shows Crescent Jupiter taken roughly about 83,000 miles away when Juno was approaching the planet. These images are just two of many that were taken during Juno's flyby. At left, a folded filamentary region in Jupiter's southern hemisphere from an altitude of 18,000 miles. At right, a compact dark cyclonic vortex in Jupiter's northern hemisphere. White pop-up ammonia clouds are visible below the cyclone. Looking south again, let's take a look at the constellations in the late summer sky. Just west of south is the constellation Sagittarius the Archer, whose bright stars form the shape of a teapot when connected together. The faint constellation Capricornus the Seagoat takes center stage to the south. From brightly lit cities, this constellation is almost impossible to see. Saturn is the only bright object that marks its location in the sky. From a suburban location, it's possible to see some of Capricornus's brighter stars as shown in this image taken last month. The region of sky east of Capricornus contains mostly faint stars that make up the water constellations of Aquarius the water bearer and Cetus the whale. Jupiter is in Pisces the fishes above Cetus. In this image taken last month, a portion of Cetus the whale is visible below Jupiter under swinging tree branches. The brightest star in Cetus is Dipta, or Beta Ceti, a yellowish second magnitude star 96 light years away from Earth. Turning our gaze towards the eastern sky, we see Pegasus, the flying horse. The main body of the horse is marked by four bright stars known as the Great Square of Pegasus. Andromeda, the princess, is attached to Pegasus. Just behind Pegasus are the constellations Cassiopeia, the queen, Perseus the hero and Ares the ram. The appearance of these constellations to the east heralds the onset of autumn. The autumnal equinox occurs at 6.04 p.m. PDT. This is when the sun is exactly on the celestial equator or the Earth's equator projected into the sky. From Los Angeles, local noon occurs at 12.46 p.m. PDT when the sun is 56 degrees above due south horizon. After this date, the sun's local noon altitude is lower each day until the winter solstice on December 21st. The autumnal equinox marks the beginning of autumn in the northern hemisphere and the beginning of spring in the southern hemisphere. In the morning sky of the 16th, the waning gibbous moon is about 6 degrees above Mars. The moon stands between Mars and the beautiful Pleiades star cluster in the constellation Taurus the Bull. This image, taken last month, shows Mars between the bright star Aldebaran and the Pleiades. Mars continues to brighten as the Earth draws closer to the red planet. By month's end, Mars is nearly two times brighter than it was at the beginning of last month. From a dark sky, planet Mars is above the Ket-1 telescope between the Hyades and Pleiades star clusters, as seen from the Subaru telescope webcam in Hawaii last month. Don't forget to catch views of the winter constellations, Orion, Gemini and Auriga, as they begin to climb higher into the sky each morning. Our moon phases this month. First quarter is on the 3rd, full moon is on the 10th, last quarter is on the 17th, and new moon is on the 25th. And that's all for this month's Sky Report. Until next time, cheerio!